Have I worked in a seaside museum? No. Um, am I a singer-songwriter? No. Have I disappeared for 20 years? No. Um, but of course there are things that you learn, hopefully, in life, or have noticed in life, that come out in the book. Well, I, I, I have kids. It's one of the big themes of, of, uh, of Juliet Naked, is Tucker's relationships with his children. Well, um, of course that comes in part from being a father, and hopefully I'm a father in a different way to him. But um, all, all, these, all these observations, either you feel the same way as him or you feel in the opposite way to him, but of course it has to inform what you do. Well, Jackson does have a relationship with my six-year-old um, Lowell in, in that um, he went through a period, thankfully now, stopped of uh, being incredibly worried about everybody's mortality. Um, and it was, it was, I found it a terrible thing to have to deal with, you know, that a period of a month or two, every night, when are you going to die? When's mummy going to die? Um, when am I going to die? Will I still be alive in this year? And then sometimes it was, it, it, it was the year 2010, you know, and you think, well, yes, I hope we're all alive in 2010. And then sometimes it was the year 3000, and you say, no, nope, everyone gone. <laughs> Um, uh, and he get very upset about it, and um, and it's sort of funny, uh, but but it, it was quite sad as well. So, yeah, some of some of um, Jackson's worries in the book are my own son's worries. I'd say the point where I connect with Juliet naked, autobiographically, um, uh, is the stuff about the consumption of art. Maybe that when you're a writer it can be very confusing. Um, you want an answer all the time. You want to be told, you know, is this book good or not, your book? And of course you can't get an answer because someone will tell you it's rubbish and someone else will tell you it's a work of genius. And, and so you're constantly sort of working through this in your mind. What does this mean that two intelligent people respond so violently differently maybe to the same piece of work and and you you can't square that i don't think so um i'd say that some of that comes out in the book um i i gave the book to a friend to read who is also a writer and she said um when she'd read it the next time a kid says to me um i'm his favorite writer and he's read my books 20 times i won't say to him sonny go off and read Philip Roth, <laughs> uh, because that happens too. You know, I have that, in particularly I, I think with high fidelity, people take great pride in telling me how many times they've read it. And you do worry for them. You think, well, you know, there are other things you should be reading, but you're actually de denying people their emotional connection with something that you've written, and that's kind of patronizing. Um, and I think that the, the different reactions to Juliet and to Juliet Naked in the book incorporate some of that.